Alright, med kits are an option if I wanted to. Even though I've got so many of them now. I'm better off keeping them in their uncrafted form instead at this point. Could do weapon upgrade kits if I wanted to. Speaking of which, how are we doing on those? We have five more again already? Holy crap. You definitely get a- you constantly get items in this game. It's crazy. Alright. Reload speed. Oops. Let's just max out the shotgun once and for all. Almost there. There we go. Maximum shotgun level. How about the pistol now? Or do I have the disruptor actually? What's left to do? Shots. Shots between reloads. And yeah, not something that comes up much, huh? I pretty much just fire like once at a time and then I'm done with that gun forever. Maybe prioritize something on this guy instead? Accuracy. Or maybe magazine capacity because I do run out from time to time. There we go. A bit more. Alright, so you need... Seven more upgrades. You need four more upgrades. And everything else I think I can't upgrade much more because they're lab items. Yeah. So I need to invest the neuromods into those slots before I can go down that range. Neat, though. Alright, so that's two neuromods. My next plan was to go, you're not psychotronics, it was going to go down stealth. You sneak attack, stealth, combat focus. I think my priority would be sneak attack specifically, because that's the, that's the multiplier on stealthy attacks. So two more neuromods and I'm good to go there. Now, now I'm curious, how much biomass do I have here? That's almost enough. Not enough to actually get it, though, I don't think. Probably gonna move on for now, then. Okay. Is there something really good I can still get? The other thing. Is there mineral and... Is there stuff that's a crossover between mineral and organic? I should probably craft a bunch of it if there's a bunch of it. Not you. Yep. I have a surplus of those two materials, but those two materials don't really combine in a meaningful way. So that's just a surplus that's going to stand. So you will take me back up. This takes me to the escape pods, which I already cleared, right? This was the second escape pod location I, I found. Yeah. I believe it's time to backtrack then. This has been an adventure. And we may or may not re-explore this area, we'll see. That sound is so funny to me, because I, I, I just associated with that, uh... That sound from Dark Crystal. That's an old movie now. Oh! That scanning done real quick. Sup? Sneaky, 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 guy! Anyone else? Go away. There we go. Yes. And then, of course, I need to do this again. There we go. Weird how that doesn't auto-combine. And weird how it hasn't been patched yet, because I've been playing this game for a month, and it was already not entirely new when I started playing it. Uh, so I came from there. I went into there already, right? Yes. I went up there, and I went over there. Have I been here yet? 
Right ahead is... looks unexplored. It looks like there's still a dark spot there. Locker rooms. Thermal Phantom. Hi. Gah. <laughs> that wasn't that was uh not welcome. That thing that just happened. Here it comes. How we doing? We doing good? Even when I'm attacking them on purpose, I know when the fight's gonna start. When they start, like, teleporting around, it still startles me, because I'm like, Oh, shit! They're not where I'm aiming anymore, and they know where I am now! I've made the worst mistake! Mimic? Do I hear skittering? Do we clearly have mimics that I can't sense, which is a problem. I don't think I hear any skittering. Hello, nice shoe. Go over there. You can't have nicer shoes than me. I'm stuck in this spacesuit. No one gets nice clothes. There's like nothing in here. Ooh. There's a thing. Get to you in a second. Finish poking around real quick. Yep. As often as the case, there's not non-working mirrors here. The mirrors really do just look like piece of, pieces of, like, polished metal as opposed to regular mirrors. This, like, discordant piano tune. Listen to this thing. That's out of range. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> the power slide's hilarious. It's in this game, and it's in Dishonored. I'm sure it has uses. I never get around to them. Unless it's specifically to go under something, I suppose. Oh. There's clearly a ceiling right there. Alright. that where I fought the dude? Yeah. Okay, same spot. Ooh, look at those. Stand clear of fans in motion. You, you don't say. You don't want to go... Uh. Okay. You have to deal with that now. We have multiple floors to deal with now. Awkward. I'm gonna have to need- I'm gonna need to get access to this- Ooh! Level 4 hacking! I can do this. I was born for this. I believe in me. Ah, I wasn't even trying to go that way. Yep. Uh, got it. Oh god, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Where you at? Deleted. Mr. Mimiku? Where are you? That's a... I'm a, under attack sound. What was that? Don't hear skittering. Music, chill out. Oh, thing up there. 
FYI, storage room near the grav shaft has an extra has extra O2 tanks. Four two eight one. Neat. But there's more in there besides O2 tanks, or at least I hope there is, because O2 tanks aren't very useful to me compared to other th things in game. Spare parts are mine. That's a proper window. I guess it would have to be a proper reinforced window because it's next to the nightmare thermal vent stuff that would destroy people if they were exposed. Okay, where is that coming from? Happens when I walk by this window, doesn't it? Someone's detecting me somewhere and I can't see where. I don't see any interface elements about it either. Huh. Howdy. Oh, didn't mean to fall. Oh, there he is. That's, uh, Alan Bianchi. Hello. Fan controls. Oh. Oh. Can. Can better? No? Dang it. There's another thermal phantom wandering around. Must be running all the time. It's temporary interrupt to the entire generation. Never last longer than 30 seconds. Check fans. What would happen if I toggled it? Fan 3 is jammed. It is. So I could unjam 3, but I'd have to interrupt them, and I'm supposed to apparently do that for no less than 30 seconds, or we get in trouble. Apparently. Got it. Are you curious about me? You look curious. Stunning, I know. <laughs> Oop. Turned away a little too fast. That's a nice combo right there. It reminds me of what was called the noob combo in Halo 2, which is that people would charge up a plasma pistol, which takes out your shields, then they would just have a battle rifle or a pistol, then they just needed one clean headshot, and you'd be dead instantly. Headshots usually kill people instantly in a lot of games, but in Halo you have shields, so you have to disable the shields, then headshots matter. Although I think headshots did do more damage against shields. And so that was the... That was one of the strategies that had a, condes a condescending name attached to it. Although it did take it did take a decent bit of skill and prep and, and situational stuff to actually set up, but just any popular combo, any that becomes anything that becomes popular on the meta as a way of killing people always gets a condescending name attached to it because that's how people respond to repetition, I guess, or just any, or somebody using a strategy they're not currently using and therefore that they're cheating or something. I don't know. I haven't played a single competitive game before or after Halo 2, really. It was my it was my jam for about a year, then pretty much moved on from that entire community style. I don't really like the idea of playing one game over and over again just to get, iter get iteratively better against uh, fighting random people I'd, I'd never met. I'm sorry, are you a place that goes somewhere? Uh, the answer is no. It's a big N.O. Making the station a safer place one step at a time until they blow the whole place up, maybe. Never know. Well, we'll know eventually, actually, so there's no never say never, I suppose. Woo! Hello. Bye bye. Whenever I think we're out of enemies here, never actually true. As it turns out. Definitely want all the enemies out of the way first before I do something with the, uh... Fan venting and stuff. To figure out what the benefit of that turns out to be. Hello. There we go. 
That glue is some powerful stuff. Gonna save lot. It would save. Well, it would be saving lives if there was anyone to save anymore. There's a few. It might still save lives. We'll see. This is actually a functioning door. It's just covered in danger. The fire around here. Holy crap. So if I did an air filtration, I wonder if that means that I could filter out all the air so that nothing burns in this room anymore. That'd be interesting. The fuck? Poltergeist, where are you? Didn't quite finish scanning, but you know I was under attack. Sure we'll find more of them later, right? Okay. I kind of wonder if they should maybe not play the dramatic music when a poltergeist sees you. Isn't them being invisible like the whole point? But there's like loud music constantly announcing when they have seen you? Like every other enemy? Jean, it's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something when I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass, roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing, I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. I just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. Almost sounds like it could have been a crystoid. I mean, cystoid, uh, nest. Maybe. Something they were freaking out about. Something that, that was unnerving, even if she didn't know why. Backstabbed in the face. Have I read this one before? Trevor's breath fogged up in the glass of the airlock door, obscuring the faces of the royal astronomer and Mercy, smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. Breathe shallow, Pulsar, the astronomer astronomer menaced. For these breaths be your lat for these breaths be your last breaths. Now that I have the prism, the dark star anomaly is under my control, and all the galaxy shall the astronomer didn't finish because he was interrupted by his head being exploded by a blast of Mercy's face pistol. His remaining words replaced by the muted clattering of his teeth against the other side of the, of the airlock door. White breath fog mingled with the red mist of the airlock glass, casting Trevor in pink glow. Nothing personal, Trevor, Mercy said. I'm sure this thing will fetch a nice price on the Thraxian black market. With that, and with that she kicked the airlock button, sending Trevor tumbling into the unloving bla black space. Those are amazing. I want to read an entire book written by that, even though it'd be, it had to be a short story because it's very simplistic writing, but it's so dumb. It's amazing. Precautions and thanks. From Max Wiegelgutz to all atmosphere control. Atmosphere crew, two quick notes. I know this goes without saying, but remember to take extra safety precautions, especially when you're awake for more than 20 hours. I don't want to see someone dozing off and falling into the turbines. Also, special thanks to Divya for maintaining the decontamination chamber doors. We've got four months without having to flush the air from the subsection, so great work, goats. Utility is decontamination. Atmosphere control is a class 100 clean room. Pursuant to Transtar standard 309F, concentration of airborne particulates must be controlled to within specific limits. When particulates rise above accepted levels, initiate decontamination procedure. Warning all, all personnel inside atmosphere control should, be, should have proper suits to handle temporary loss of oxygen. This whole place will lose oxygen, which could cleanse some stuff or maybe even fire. I'm just kind of concerned, what if there's a person in here somewhere that I don't know about? I'd be killing them with a surprise. Well, the option's there. I know where it is, so we'll just keep that in mind from now on. Let's get back to the beginning of this room and check the bottom floor now. I bet it would take care of this fire problem, right? 
Just keeping an eye out for mimics real quick. Nope, nothing apparent. I may want to just ignore this. It's just... It's tempting to clear it out, but it's just a bunch of fire in one spot. Oh. That's something. Operator. Engineering. Requesting new operator. Are you gonna be in danger or what? Repair me! Thank you. You're not gonna burn to death, are you? You fly over the fires. Okay, so you're good, I think. Alright. So you're potentially useful. Uh... I'm all repaired up. Every known enemy has been cleared out of the area, so we're good there. So, let's loop back around. And I'll try my hand at repairs, I suppose. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so I think I want to go... ...down there. Yeah, and clear out that item, hopefully. Temporary interrupt of the entire fan array should never last longer than 30 seconds. Oops. Trying to grab it. Okay, that's not... That's not working. <laughs> get it back on before I get in trouble here. Uh, how do I... Is it, oh, so it's just interrupted. So it's going to turn back on on its own? Yes. Now it's all on. Okay. Go check fans. All fans okay. Neat. So I wonder if that means this place will stop catching on fire now. If it were if we were to purge at least. So I just can't get into here, huh? I don't have the code. Is there any other way in? There's no secret door over there. I assume my suit just kicks in automatically, because we've gone to space plenty of times already. Don't see anything else in here I'd want. Fans are clear now. So ventilation should be good, hopefully. Even if I don't- I don't even have a reason for why I was trying to fix that, aside from just general, like, Hey, that thing's broken, let's fix it. Which is maybe enough reason. We don't really have anything to go on right now, do we? Huh. Might be the kind of thing that was going to come up later. So maybe I've just made progress for the future me. Neat. I did good today. Good job. <laughs> we have nothing going on locally, I don't think. Still looking for Tamako uh, Hayashi in the cargo bay, so that, that'll be on my way back. Alright, we'll see if this place comes up later. Probably not the nicest way to wait for something to happen, is by wobbling the camera and making people watching the video motion sick. It's probably not very nice. I'm suspicious of you. Alright, I am now longer, no longer suspicious of you. I thought there might be a thing behind it. Cargo Bay. Welcome back. We are just making trips around. It's just enjoyable to explore in this game. I care about that more than almost anything else in this game, I think. Ooh, what's over here? Let's poke around here. Ooh, I can fix a thing over here. Ooh, what's up with this? Someone apparently is seeing me. Oh yeah, through there. 
Oh, and Tamako Hayashi's in there too. Can you attack me through there? The Tamako's in there. They might be the person who tried to contact me the first time around. Hello. You never know, a lot of games let you attack through walls in that situation, so I was seeing if I could nail them. She's right in there, probably with the other dude that's apparently alive in there that we saw. Don't remember if she was the exact name who contacted us originally or not, but she's likely either that person or hanging out with that person. Oh! Made it to your office, Morgan. I haven't been here since... I believe it was the time where your medical condition was discussed, Chief Engineer Ilyushin. What the hell? Morgan, is that- I am January. Morgan used personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. All right, January. Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Chief Ilyushin, please do not- The cargo is stalled inside. Cargo doors got stuck. So apparently Ilyushin made her way all the way back to our location, which is neat. Can clear a conveyor. Oh. That could be a way of sneaking in, potentially, I think. Without letting them out or letting the enemies roam. Honestly, I think I can take them. But yeah, I don't think that there's a way through the doors right now. I think I need to move on. But it sounds like Ilyushin is back at our HQ. Was there a local way to get back to Talos lobby? Don't remember if there was a local way to get back right now. Let's see. Talos lobby is attached to Psychotronic Shuttle Bay. Life support's attached by a red line. That's the elevator that doesn't work, I think. The last time I went back- Oh, right, Psychotronics. I had a way into Psychotronics. That's how I got back to Talos Lobby last time, isn't it? Otherwise, I can go into space, basically. But most likely, we're gonna need to go back through Guts. Alright, it'd be a bit of a roundabout way to get back, so I think I'm gonna find a way to get back to her later or something, perhaps. Life support? Yeah. Let's get back into... The main place for now. Interested in seeing what's going to happen there, though. Said it was stuck again, huh? So can I get back out or not then? One of my curiosities is, of course, going to be the fact that one of those doors back there should be accessible again. There was a cargo thing I couldn't open before because I didn't have rank 4 yet. Welcome back to Awkward Floating. There we go. Now, was that floating freely or was it... I think it was inside the actual closed door. Do I need to reopen that then? With the 7 minute speed run thing that turned out to be very very forgiving. Microgravity detected. Have the enemies have the enemies repopulated around here? Seems to have remained clear. And that area still seems open. Where was the locked thing I couldn't open? Was it up here? Didn't I- I think I- I think I remember finding a rank 4 thing I couldn't open. I think I was floating at the time. I think- I, it seems like I opened everything in here, so maybe it was floating over here then? Probably that. Probably you. Yep. Careful now. Who wouldn't want to get a zappy? Nobody wants a zappy.
Yeah, I definitely feel like the harder it gets, the easier it gets. Weird that. Are those recycler charges? Is that an entire box full of recycler charges? Oh, it is. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's great news. And you've got Q-beam and a Q-beam fabricator. Boy, that was a good find. Glad we came, made our way back here. How many do I have now? 19. This is a good place to be in. This is a good place indeed. This still disorients the hell out of me, by the way, doing this. Let's add some of this to it. Uh, <laughs> then we hit, then we hit shift. Ah, uh, my eyes. How do I process this visual information? <laughs> I might get hit by that tram if I'm not careful. Alright, so I'm not gonna find Habayashi very soon, I don't think. Oh, radiation thing's still a problem. Although I have learned I can use a recycler charge to get rid of that, apparently. So that's interesting. Let's try to get through before I get in trouble here. I'm getting stuck a little bit. Bad example. Alright, so we're finally getting back on course, I think. But don't worry, I'll find a new reason to get off course again, I'm sure. So we need to, fl we need to fly all the way down the length of the ship, all the way down to the Arboretum. Which is something I was supposed to do like... Man, I don't even know how long ago at this point. Let's get- let's get down there.